I've known Rich for a long time, and he continues to do God's work. Uh, if you get a chance to to listen to him, if you get a chance to bring him in, don't hesitate to be the best investment that you can have. He's unbelievable with kids, and his story is the greatest story, comeback story of all time. Not in wrestling, but in life. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today, we wanted to have a, an assembly to uh, to bring in Mr. Rich Jensen. He was uh, uh, on ESPN's 30 for 30, if you've ever watched that. Uh, there's various stories on there. Uh, great, as you just heard, a great comeback story. Um, to talk to you guys, as we're gearing up for the testing season, I think it's important. Um, I think there's times that this late in the year, we'll start getting complacent with what we're doing. Why are we doing what we're doing? And uh, I, think it's, I think it's awesome just to bring somebody in to, to kind of get back the focus of why we're doing what we're doing. So please help me welcome Rich Jensen. Thanks, guys. So I travel all around the country. I talk to upwards of 50,000 people nationwide about the importance of making the right choices, dangers of poor choices and addiction, and I encourage leadership. And the message today isn't just for the kids, it's for everybody in the room because I think we can all take a look at our lives and reevaluate and self-evaluate and make better choices tomorrow. How many of you have ever been challenged in life, missed the mark, didn't reach your goal? Come on. I know there's a lot of us, you know. And it's discouraging. It's tough. It's hard on you. It's hard on your self-esteem. But I set the bar really high. I set the bar really high because I want to accomplish great things in my life. And I've been through the struggle. I've been through the struggle. I know what real struggle is like. West Coast to come talk to you guys about my personal story, my personal struggle, and my journey to find success. It's parts of the story are going to be a little sad, a little heart wrenching. It's going to reach in and play with your heartstrings a little bit. But at the end of the day, it has a really happy ending. It has a really happy ending. But not all my friends get the happy ending. A lot of my friends aren't here today. A lot of my friends are down a road that they can't find their way out of. Drug addiction is creating a problem in the world. And unfortunately, it's taken way too many lives. And I went down that road for 20 years. I went down that road for 20 years after high school. I've seen the very worst of it. And I had a really hard time getting my head back on straight and my feet back on the ground and getting back to that straight and narrow. I'm one in a million. And I'm so thankful and so blessed today to be able to be here, guys. Because the odds were one in a million to make the comeback that I made. I remember what it was like, smoking a little bit, drinking a little bit, just having a good time, playing around, trying to be cool, trying to fit in, trying to be part of, trying to be accepted, wanted, and needed. Just trying to be accepted. I struggled with low self-esteem, and so I had a really hard time saying no because I wanted you to accept me. And unfortunately, that little bit of experimenting turned into snowballing to other things. And next thing you know, I'm in jail, I'm in prison, I'm homeless, and I'm drug addicted, and I can't get out. I can't get out coming from a good, healthy household, a good, loving family. This can happen to anybody. This can happen to anybody. The only way we can ensure it doesn't happen to us is to make the right choice. Once I got stuck, I couldn't get out. I remember sitting at that homeless shelter with the clothes on my back at 34 years old, laying on the gym floor to get out of the weather at night. Going out during the day and picking tobacco out of the ashtrays and putting it in a little sandwich baggie. And at night, checking into that homeless shelter, laying on the floor and spreading that tobacco out so it would dry overnight so that the highlight of my day was to have a cigarette the next day from tobacco out of the ashtray. 
So I know what real struggle is. The pain and the agony. I know what it's like to get out of control and can't get back, can't get your life back, can't rewind your life. I was an athlete in high school. I knew I wanted to be a fireman. I wanted to go get an education. I had my dreams and my vision for my life. I knew where I wanted to go. I knew what I wanted to do. A few bad decisions got me rolling down a road I couldn't reel back. I couldn't get back. And I lost 20 years of my life trying to get back to where I really wanted to be. That straight and narrow. That athlete. That kid with those dreams. That kid with that vision. I wanted it so bad. And I had a really, really hard time getting back. This can happen to anybody, guys. This can happen to anybody.